be really overwhelming and confusing when deciding and aiming in which school of architecture you want to go to. Sometimes it is good to have a specific university in mind that you are really aiming at or you want to go to because this can uh, act as a motivational factor for you to really work hard to achieve your goal. Hi everyone, it's Take here. I'm currently studying architecture in London and in this video we'll look at it, how you can choose and decide the best and most suitable uh, school of architecture for you to go into. Okay, the first thing to do is to decide and understand what you're looking for. This is because each university teaches in a different way. For example, some universities, they are more inclined into approaching architecture more into the technical and mathematical way and then there are the other universities that are more inclined into the creative way some of them they are more inclined into the historical way the philosophical way so each university approaches the study of art not just architecture but most courses that they offer in different and diverse ways so you have to really question yourself why you're looking for is that maps that you really like and you are looking to gain to a course that has a high mathematical technical approaches to the study of architecture architecture is that the more creative side that you're looking for you're expecting to to not draw and sketch and model make a lot um, instead of uh, focusing more into the technical aspect of architecture and the understanding this is really important because uh, if you for example more inclined into the creative part of architecture you really enjoy model making drawing but you don't really like the physics the technical aspect of architecture if you end up going into a school of architecture that approaches um, the course into the more technical way the more mathematical way it can be really difficult for you to you know go throughout your degree to pass your degree or worst case scenario is that you can actually get bored and realize that maybe architecture is not for you because you went to this university that approaches the course of architecture in a really diverse way um, that you liked for example here in the uk the university of bath uh, which is one of the highest ranked university for the course of architecture they really highlight in their website that their approach to architecture is really much technical because they prefer their applicants to have achieved or to have a background in maths and physics this really like it just highlights you that most likely their course and approach to the course of architecture is going to be really technical so if you are like for example really creative that wouldn't be the best place for you but if you are really much into the technical aspect of architecture you really much enjoy the mathematical physics side of architecture that can be a great place for you to understand this um, make sure to obviously because uh, by the time that i'm filming this video we are in a pandemic situation of the COVID-19 uh, we cannot really visit universities but make sure to um, reach to universities um, email them and ask them how do they approach architecture and tell them to be specific is that the I don't know more physics side um, the more technical side that they approach architecture in or is it the more creative some of them they approach architecture into the more history side as I said in my previous videos that Cambridge from my research and from people that uh, when they all did like summer schools there they told me that they are really much focused into the historical side of architecture and uh, you expected to do history essays this is from what I've heard from people that you know actually either had interviews or the, when they're for summer schools and also in their website they say that they actually have a high focus on history side of architecture you have to really understand yourself and what type of course you are looking forward to go into for me if you're wondering um, i was looking for a course that is a bit more creative because uh, i don't really have a strong background in maths and physics so i was looking for a course that would really push me to think creatively and outside of the box thinking ways that i you know normally wouldn't think like to see things in a different and creative way but at the same time to not be so creative that it just blinds me from reality but i wanted something that it's creative but at the same time you know it touches also in the philosophical aspect of architecture the power of architecture that focuses on 
you know creating things for people objects spaces for people um, the economical aspect of architecture the engineering aspect of architecture at the same time not to be so creative but mainly to based on creativity and uh, a course that will push me to think really differently and see the world in a hopefully different way okay after deciding what type of course you are expecting to get into when going to the your architecture school now it's time for you to question yourself why is it that you like and you want is it the reputation of the university that attracts you or is it the campus that you you know visited now during the covid pandemic we cannot really visit campuses but if you previously visited it or somehow you managed to you know get in the campus uh, during this pandemic which is very unlikely uh, and you really liked it is it that is it the overall environment um, why is it that you, really excites you to go there and um, this specific university for me personally as much is not the best thing to say reputation was a big part in my do not choice of and aiming of which university i wanted to go to uh, this is because the way i saw it is that science uh, i am like so sort of privileged to do not study in a really good country and everything in a really good city in a good school and there shouldn't be anything stopping me to aim and motivate myself to get into these top ranked universities and uh, i wouldn't really lose anything uh trying to you know push myself to go into these top uh, ranked universities uh, instead it would just hopefully make me bear overall you know you like help me to build up a really good routine and everything um, even if i don't get in um, you know the skills that you learn to aim to these top universities like i don't know time management uh, discipline and everything um, they are actually really good thing even though like you don't end up getting in because they are really competitive so yeah like reputation or something that was kind of important to me when applying and choosing which universities i really wanted to go to but obviously uh, reputation wasn't the only thing um uh, it's not that i was just blinded by reputation and ignoring all the other great universities out there but uh, yeah it was something in my application that you know i had like oh this is the unit i want to go to and everything but yeah, something else that was important to me when applying and choosing which university i wanted to really aim at and focus myself to get into was uh, also the amount of competition and um, yeah i know that competition it can be negatively seen because it can increase your you know chances to get uh, anxious or anxiety and also stress levels it can really rise your stress level and also sometimes also depression because it's a really competitive environment but the way i saw it was that if i'm in a competitive uh, class with people that are really talented really good that should be a motivational factor uh, for me to improve myself and it can also be an opportunity for me to get to know these amazing people and grow hopefully like them or with them so yeah that was actually something that i was also looking for when choosing the university that, that it would have a hopefully uh, people that are really good and the overall university uh, to be competitive to get into but also when you are into because uh, you know when you're surrounded with people that are amazingly good enjoying coming up with great ideas um, hopefully um, i saw it like as an opportunity to grow myself as well and by only just deciding these two factors uh, what type of uh, course you are looking to get into is it like the engineering artistic historic uh, philosophical and like what type of course you are trying to get into for your course in architecture and uh, deciding uh, why is it that you are you like and why is it that you want is it the reputation of this university is it the environment that you felt is it the, i don't know the overall teaching and the tutors that you met that you really liked why is it that you really liked about this university and just by understanding these two things this can be also really good for your own interview because if they ask you why do you want to come to this university you will hopefully have the confidence and knowledge to 
have a solid answer that this is what really attracts me to this, this university and uh, this is why i hope to get out of it you know can be really good for your interview and it also like helps you to like kind of restrict your view um, i know it sounds really like being really close-minded and not open-minded to other opportunities but i feel like when um, you are choosing for the university if you have like 10 to 15 different universities that you wouldn't mind going obviously like you shouldn't mind going to any of them but if you're like oh yeah this is okay this is all right i mean it just takes you away uh, to you like from being concentrated from these specific goals and for me by doing that um it just restricted my view to like just three universities and then it was like two because the third one i didn't apply there but yeah there were like two universities i really saw myself to get into obviously if i didn't end up going into these two universities i wouldn't have minded going into other ones but yeah just having these two like it just really made me focused and motivated and hopefully build a good discipline to work really hard and uh, yeah like push really myself in ways that i probably wouldn't have if i had like i don't know 10 to 15 different choices and being like oh yeah i don't mind going there or there so yeah like kind of try to restrict your choices and goals focus on just specific maybe two to three universities to go into and if you don't get into them it is not the end of the world um, and find other alternatives there are amazing universities out there and uh, maybe you can also take a gap year and reapply the following year or do a foundation course a foundation year some sort of things and try to get into the university that you actually aimed at the following year or just there are also like other alternatives to it but yeah um in the process of applying like that comes after you know the other alternatives but in the process of applying and aiming with which place you want to study in which institution you want to study it can be really helpful for you to just kind of restrict um, your choices to like one to two universities that you really want to go to instead of having 10 different like oh yeah i wouldn't mind going in any of them yeah this is all in this video i hope you took out something from it learned something and hopefully you can apply and can be helpful for you when deciding which university you want to go to or like which university is like you want to aim at so that it can you know be a motivational factor in your studies and your school and this is all for this video and i hope to see you in the next one